Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Max Bloomers of the High Bay. This is episode 21 and today we are finally coming to a close on this video series. This is part one of two of the last two videos and today what we are doing is harvesting and I'm going to talk about what you're looking at here. Uh, these plants have actually wilted. This is not a result of disease or anything. I purposely stopped refilling the reservoir um, really just to encourage ripening. Uh, there is a technique that if you stop watering tomatoes, it actually helps them ripen faster. So I kind of wanted to try that out. Um, obviously, this is not going to be a very big harvest at all. Um, these plants were already looking kind of poor and it really wasn't going to be producing much more tomatoes. Um, they were producing a little bit more flowers, but there wasn't really any, any more growth happening. So kind of coming to a close on their uh, growth cycle. So what we're going to do now in this video is we're going to harvest these, we're going to count the viable tomatoes, and we are going to weigh them and see what we produced. Now as far as the roots go, I said I was going to show you the roots, but there really isn't any difference. I'm just going to tell you that's not really worth looking at. There's no difference between the roots, um, and they're so intermixed in there you can't even tell what's what anymore. So we'll just forget about that, take my word for it. So I'm going to clip off these uh, tomato clusters and we're going to take them over to a scale and weigh them and count them. All right, we've got these all harvested now. The high bay is on the right side and the maximum is on the left side. You can clearly see that the high bay has produced more tomatoes. Uh, also to note, you can clearly see that the high bay tomatoes have already started to ripen. We've got some that are nearly ripe, some that are already starting to turn uh, like a yellowy orange color. And the ones under the max bloom are pretty much still just a really dull green color. Uh, so really no ripening yet on those. Uh, maybe this one here just a little bit, but that's about it. So now we're gonna go ahead and weigh these and count them. So here's the high bay on the scale. It has produced 49 tomatoes and it weighs 245 grams. And here's the tomatoes grown under the Max Bloom. This has produced 34 tomatoes and it weighs 165 grams. So that is substantially less in uh, weight and quantity versus the tomatoes grown under the High Bay. Um, now I realize this is not a whole lot of production here and I, I realize that these plants aren't necessarily full size. This is an indoor grow and this is just a small scale experiment. This is the same kind of result I've seen before when comparing white light to a, a blurple kind of light. And while the Max Bloom did do poorly in this test, that doesn't mean it's gonna do poorly for all plants. Um, it's mainly made for medicinal plants. It might do better th than that. I can't do stuff like that on my channel, um, but you can probably find similar information on other parts of YouTube and Google. Um, so now what we're going to do is talk about a few other things. So before we conclude this episode, what I'm going to do is put these all in a paper bag, separate them and label them, and we're going to set them aside and let them ripen, and in the next episode we're going to have somebody taste them. I don't like tomatoes, so I'm going to have somebody else taste them, but uh, we're going to cover all the angles, even though I don't think there's going to be any taste difference between these. Um, also, the, this isn't the last time you're going to be seeing these two lights. As I mentioned in the last episode, we're still going to revisit this with pepper plants, uh, jalapeno peppers actually and we're gonna see what we get from there because the flowering with pepper plants is a lot different than flowering with tomato plants we'll see if we get any increase in flowering and production with those uh, also we're gonna be doing a series here with uh, Mars Hydro light and that's basically just testing out one of their new lights and uh, kind of also doing uh, a different test to see uh, not necessarily between two different lights, but just seeing what happens with different pH levels, which is also going to be jalapeno plants. Uh, it's going to be a little tricky of an experiment because I'm going to have to constantly monitor the pH and change the solution to keep the experiment valid. Um, but anyways, that is about it for this episode. Hope to see you in episode 22. Thanks for watching.